Sculpty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield. Together, we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing. Cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott. Cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid. Providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Hi, thanks for watching Quilty. This is part two of our hand quilting episode, Mom. Yes, and with, I... Uh, doing nice people. Yeah, hi, hi. Hi. We're going to show you how it's done. Yeah, we set up in the episode before. Now we are going to take our stitches. So if you haven't seen the first episode, you got to watch that one first. You'll enjoy it, and then you can move on to this one. Okay, Mom, where do okay, we start? Okay, well, the white thread is my basting stitches, mm -hmm. and um, I, I use uh, thread to baste my hand quilting quilts because I don't want the pins in the way. Normal thread, anything this, special? This basting, you know, kind of crummy thread you sure. can use because you're going to throw. And as I go along, I cut it and get it out of my way. Mm -hmm. And so um, I've got so, several needles started because I want to show different parts of this process. Sure. I've got my work all nice and tight in the hoop. Also, importantly, I've used a low loft, mostly cotton batting. I Fair. think this is a Fairfield batting mm -hmm. that I put in there. I mean, Fairfield's been making batting. They've been with us a long time. They're great. Okay, so I want a low loft hand quilting batting. So I'm going to show over here first. I'm going to quilt in several places. So here's my short needle. And the reason you want this short needle is because you're going to rock the needle for hand quilting. I have my own special way to put the needle in. And I'm quilting in the ditch right around this applique. So the applique will pop out. And you'll see it's already popping up a little bit because mm -hmm. I've quilted next to it. Mm -hmm. So my special little way to fix the needle is I kind of put it in my fingernail. It's kind of my own little thing, and once I get it in there and take that first stitch, then I put my thimble on it. So mm -hmm. here's rocking the needle up, as far up as I can, and then down. So you can see if I had a real long needle, I couldn't bend it down as well. Right. Can and you do that again? I will, like and I slowly. kind of form, I form a little mountain mm -hmm. to sew through. So I'm going to take a couple more stitches here, and I rock that needle back, I rock it up, and my underneath hand is also helping guide the needle. And the neat thing about quilting in a hoop like this, instead of a big frame like the ladies used to do back in the day, mm -hmm. <clears throat> is that I can turn my work. So I'm always quilting toward myself because that, for me, is the easiest mm -hmm. way to stitch. You and can see where you're going. I mean, I can see where I'm going. I don't have to turn my hand different ways mm -hmm. to turn different directions. I'm always quilting toward myself. Wearing a thimble is critical. You, and you just couldn't you possibly. Couldn't, uh, you couldn't. And also, it's very important to realize that the needle is always staying up atop. I'm never transferring, I'm never going through so that my needle's in my underneath hand. Right. Because keeping that needle on top is how we make our stitches straight and even. And I know people can't see it very well there, so I'm just going to stop right there, and I'm going to pick up this needle that I started. And the beauty of the hoop is, I see I'm turning mm -hmm. this around, so that I'm quilting in the way that is the most comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna pick up right here so you can see my stitches. And these aren't nearly as good as the ones in the quilt on the wall because I, I'm a little out of practice, mm -hmm. but it comes back. Okay. And you show just right there before yeah. you pull it through. So I load the needle and sh let me see that little rubber disc mm -hmm. because once you load the needle, sometimes it's really hard to pull it through. Yes. So this little, it's like a little jar opener it is amazing how helpful that is to help me get my needle through. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to stop this, so give me the scissors, mm -hmm. and I want to show where everybody can see it even better. I'm going to make a knot, and you can see how I've marked these little flames. It's like on these, on these hot, angry feathers. Mm -hmm. I have drawn, you know, like they're on fire, and they're sort oh, of steaming. It's this mm -hmm. here. And I just used my um, ceramic pencil. Mm -hmm. So I want to show people how to start mm -hmm. and how to stop. Great. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to start on the end of this line. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put, put, put it, yes, yeah, so we can great. see it better. So I'm going to bring my needle in in no man's land. Sure. See, it's, in, it's not coming through to the back. Yeah. And I come up here at my starting place. Okay. So this is really cool. So watch this. There's my knot. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to pop this knot into yep. the inside. And it, yep, you can just make it 
live in no man's land. There. See, yeah. it's in there. But I didn't pull it all the way through. So you got to pop it and then put the brakes on. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to quilt a little ways with my own method. And when you have a curve like this, when you're going straight, you can kind of load the needle more. But if you're curving, you want to just take a few stitches, just like slowing down when you go around a curve in a little sports car, mm -hmm. you want to uh -huh. slow down. And so I know my hand probably covered that. So I'm not taking a lot of stitches, but I'm turning my hoop. Now here's a little straightaway. So I can go on the straightaway and let me speed up a little bit. Mom, can you f clarify what you mean by loading the needle? That's a great question. Okay, so what I'm doing is as I rock my needle back and forth, I am loading, I'm adding mm -hmm. stitches. So right now I've got three on Loaded. and that gives that's a great question because what I can do if I'm really going for the beautiful even stitching is if I don't like what I've loaded on and I feel like they're not even, mm. I can just sure. unload it. I can take them out mm -hmm. and I can start over. So, um, you know, and I feel like the, the quilting needle, these are, this is a new needle that I put in. I swear when I used to do a lot of hand quilting, when that needle got warmer, <laughs> from stitching and it sort of got shined up it would it would just really? almost get lubricated that's and, amazing. and would slide through you know now i'm going to come mm -hmm. yeah that, that's amazing so so but you need to make sure you're changing your needle i mean if you're doing a big quilt it's going to get dull right no no, no i okay. would i'd use one needle I, I think my kind of famous quilts that i in competition i used one needle unless i would break it for some Great reason to know. but look how beautiful Ugh. that is with hand quilting you get a finish you get the hand it's the hand that's it is warming and it's 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 working the the top and i mean it's it's an amazing it is look. And it, it looks different because what's really different about it from and i love machine quilting yes. and i love machine quilters and all my quilts these days are machine quilted but you have a stitch and a space and a stitch and a space and that's something that's hard to duplicate it's a different animal and the loft like there's something about the puff that you get with hand quilting now the, i want to end the best mm -hmm. yeah you want to end mm -hmm. the best hand quilters 16 inches 16 stitch well per no inch or something. well i mean i think it's been shown but i mean at my best i could do about 11 stitches to the inch but you know i don't think a person needs to worry about either. that you really it's more important that they're even that right. this yeah that, that that let's and let's clarify the that, right length. that the spaces are even mm -hmm. and the stitches are even right. is far more important okay so everybody wants to know how to end right so i've come to the end of my little steam mm -hmm. line and I want to end, so I I make I take my needle and I, I make a loop. So I'm just going to make a loop knot. See, I'm going th I'm going through like this, and I make this knot. And see, with my needle, I can slide it down close to the surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and I'm tightening it, and then see, there's a knot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna hide that knot. I got to get my hand under here in no man's land again mm -hmm. to get my hand under here. Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to take a fake stitch. In no man's land. In no man's. And it's going through. It's, it's not coming thing. to the back. Mm -hmm. And I come along here and I pop it in. And then if you take a little, if you put a little pressure on it, hold up. You don't want to cut the top yeah. of your quilt. Careful. Is, but if you pull up a little bit, it just pops right back in there. And if it doesn't, you can go in no man's mm -hmm. land again and slide it around. Yeah. So I used to teach this. And I would sit by each student one by one as they did the rocking of the needle. And I'd say, it, I, it reminded me of teaching you guys to parallel park when you were learning to drive. I'd say, crank it a little farther, yeah. a little farther now. You got it, you got it, pull it. One of my earliest memories is sitting on your lap while you were hand quilting. Yeah. I remember leaning my head on your on your yes. chest, hearing you talk. I remember. Well, and some of my favorite memories are when you all would read to me when yeah. I would be hand quilting. You'd all be, we'd be That's reading great. the Babysitter's Club. Oh, my God. <laughs> it uh, was so great. much fun. Great. Those were the days. Those were the days. Okay. Oh, you... and, oh, I forgot one thing. If you just cannot stand to wear a thimble, this is a really neat product. These come, these are little suede dots that have mm. very sticky stuff on the back. And so you just take one off. I, I used to use these actually. And you, it stays stuck to your finger. Amazing. Take that away, take that away. And you just use that instead. That's So, really I mean, neat. you can push very hard on that thimble and not have it go through. I love it. Well, you I'm, might want to use one. I might want, on my very own project, this was a, 
a thing we did for Quilty a long time ago. We talked about basting and things with it. It's adorable and it's it's marked up, ready to be yeah. to be hand quilted. And maybe I'll give it a shot. Um, maybe not based with the safety pins that you can, but they get in the way of the hoop. Well, yeah, you just got to move them around a little yeah. bit. That works fine. Look at our hoops pinch. together. Yes, how fun. Try some hand quilting. You'll probably really like it. Bye. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing, cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Northcott, Cottons that feel like silk. OmniGrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years.